Hello there, I'm uh, going to be explaining the dialogue controls as they relate to scripting in this video uh, here. So, what we have here is uh, some examples, and let me show you what the dialogue looks like first. Um, the dialogue I'm going to be using is this one here, and here are the dialogues under it. Um, the first one is called First, um, and the options that are displayed when clicking on it are Start, Tokens, In Use, and then there's a dialogue Close, which just closes it. Um, uh, in use goes to the dialog called in use, um, and same way with tokens and start. Uh, so, I also have three corresponding dialogs here called, uh, that all begin with a D for dummy. Um, so there's a dummy in use, dummy start, and dummy tokens for each one of these here. And uh, dummy dialogs are nice to, uh, they're, they're not really used, but they're only used, I mean, they're not seen, they're just used to control the flow of dialogs. So, like, the, the only one I'm actually using in this example is the tokens one, and um, that is uh, right here under the availability. It's only available after the D tokens dialog, or the dummy tokens. Um, same way with the start, it's only available after the dummy start, and so on. So, in this example, I'm just really going to be using the tokens one, which is, um, which has, uh, <laughs> D tokens is dialog number nine. Okay, so that's important. Um, let's just put this in this test guy here and you'll see what happens. So, when I click on him, he's, he's only, only going to show the close dialog, because all the other ones are not available yet, because none of the dummy dialogues have been read yet. So, that's all he has available. So, what we have here are four NPCs with the same script in different tabs. So, in the Interact tab, we have this command, which reads the dialog number nine, which is the dummy tokens one. So, when I click on him, it will read the dummy's token, dialog and make it available. So, there it is. It's available. Uh, I can close that, and it's available. And I can click on tokens. Now then, there's one more thing about the tokens dialog that I did, is the do tokens dialog has the option, when you click on it, that it run it unreads the dummy tokens, okay? So, it unreads it, which makes it unavailable next time, so it has to become available by some other means. That means is that is the script in the Interact tab. So that's why this seems to be always available. Um, even though it's, I click on it, it's, it's going to say, it's going to run uh, that command to make it unavailable. So, uh, that's what the Interact tab does. It runs before anything else does, as soon as you interact with the NPC. Um, now then, we also have the Dialog Close tab and the Dialog tab. Um, so, in the Dialog Close tab, it's the same script, but what I did with this NPC, he has a slightly different dialog here. Uh, it's called First 2, and the only thing different there is it doesn't have any close button. So it never closes. So if you don't close it, so if the dialog never closes, this is never run. You see. So I can click on him, and there's nothing available at all. And I click, because when you click down here, it's, it's the same thing as like hitting escape or something like that. It's, it's not really closing the dialog. There's no confirmation of closing. <laughs> so he never uh, has anything available. So this NPC has the first, uh, the regular di first dialogue in it, not the modified one. So, when I click on him, I click on him, and this, this close option is in there. So I click on that, that closes it, and then when I click on him again, that's tokens is available. And then, so I click on that, and then it's not available. You see? So, that's not available. So, and it works similarly in the, uh, in the dialogue tab also. The dialog tab runs when the dialog opens up, so, but it doesn't open up in time for the dialog uh, mechanism to um, read the, uh, to make it available. So even though I click on him, it's not available yet until I click on him again. So, if you want to, like, say, if you had, like, if I had a sand block in my hand or something like that, um, and I, I wanted to click on him and check that, you would have to have kind of an in-between dialog, so, um, you would say something like, if I had a sand block in my hand, uh, you know, then unread some dummy dialogue, and, and then he would have to say something like, uh, what do you have in your hand, or something like that, and then it would have to go to a second dialogue, and then those options would have uh, dummy dialogues uh, to unread them. So you have to kind of like go on a second step, um, otherwise you're, you have to click on them twice or something like that, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So um, that's how that works. It's a little, it's a little confusing, but... Uh, I hope I, I at least demonstrated that. Now then, there's also one of the most power powerful things about the dialog closed is the options. Um, uh, 
ability. So in this NPC, we have, that, that was from testing earlier, um, <laughs> a lot close. It says if option, which is a keyword, okay, like player or something like that, um, is equal to three, then the NPC will say, say this is three, okay? So what I did is I just made another simple little secondary dialogue here, um, options, and it just has three options, one, and they all go to close, two, three, four, okay? They're all just click on and they'll go to the close function. Um, so, when I click on him, if I click on one, nothing happens, two, nothing happens, and then three, he will say this is three. So that's how you can determine which option is picked. So that's that's a much more powerful way of, of uh, directing your, your dialogue flow sometimes. Um, it can also trigger, um, this This could also trigger um, unreads or reads to to control the uh, availability of, of the dialogues. So, um, with, you could have different things here. I mean, you could get quite complicated with different after, before, always, okay? So you can have some sort of complicated structure based on where, what the NPC is uh, is doing, who, he's, who else you've talked to, uh, what kind of uh, dialogues are available at any particular time. So it, it can get kind of messy, and, but uh, if you maybe uh, try to organize it, write it all down beforehand even, to uh, try and strain it out, you can, you can make some pretty neat uh, dialogue structures like this. Um, I hope you, uh, if you have any questions, I, I'll try to answer them. Um, but uh, maybe this clips things up a little bit. Um, thanks for watching. I'm just out here. Uh, I'm always experimenting on something. I just have this guy here, which I've been experimenting on. And off he goes. Thanks for watching.